Hi folks, Jim here, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can prevent Premiere Pro from crashing when you try to tweak the audio level of a file shot in the MXF codec, like the Canon C300 Mark II. This doesn't seem to be a widespread problem, but it does happen to some people on occasion, and me being one of them for whatever reason. So here I have a clip of an interview I recently did with the C300 Mark II. So when I right click on the audio, select audio gain and change the gain to anything, Premiere Pro gets hung up and I must perform a force quit. But the fix for this is very simple. Here I've relaunched Premiere Pro. This time, instead of right clicking on the audio file and selecting audio gain, go to the effects panel. This is where I keep mine. Yours might be in a different location depending on how you have your workspace set up. In the effects panel, search for hard limiter. It's under audio effects. Drag the hard limiter effect onto the clip in your timeline and head up to the effects panel. Click the edit button on the hard limiter effect and then in the input boost option, change your audio level to what you'd like. For this example, I'm going to boost the audio 12 decibels. Now, when I play the clip back, you can see that the audio has been boosted and Premiere Pro did not crash. In this example, I deliberately boosted the audio to make it a little hot. You can see it reaching into the orange zone and not staying in the desired negative 12 to negative six decibel range. So go back to the hard limiter effect and in the maximum amplitude option, type negative six. This will prevent your audio from peaking above negative six decibels. Now, one thing that happens with the hard limiter is if you make more than one adjustment, like I did with both the input boost and maximum amplitude, the clip's audio will play a little softer than the negative six dB, which I designated it to do. Here, you can see it's peaking at negative nine decibels, even though I set the limit to negative six. Just go back in and tweak the maximum amplitude level until you get your audio to peak at negative six or whatever you'd like it to. I changed it to negative three dB and the audio is peaking at negative six just like I want it to. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. I'll see you next time.